Okay, so um, Kingsbridge, uh, I'm going to talk about the Kingsbridge unique wayfinding map. I'll, again, I'll do a bit of an introduction as to who worked on this, uh, talk about Kingsbridge itself, um, the wayfinding aspect of it, who William Cookworthy is, the design and development of the product, and then a little bit about the delivering through lockdown and our final product. So hopefully I'll be able to do that in seven minutes. <laughs> Um, so design for movement, as I said, um, we developed this in house at Steer um, with my um, artistic designer Emily Whiteside, who's on leave this week, so couldn't join us. But uh, I'll, I'll run through that. So Kingsbridge is situated in the coastal South Devon um, in the UK, in an area of outstanding natural beauty. And Kingsbridge sits on the estuary and is surrounded by lush, green, rolling countryside. During the pandemic, many UK residents have had to change their international holiday habits. And so what was once a small seasonal tourist destination during the summer holidays now welcomes more tourists to its eclectic selection of shopping and rural activities. So the town councillors of Kingsbridge was, um, was saying a lot of people are coming to the tourist information office and not having a clue where to go, what to see, what they can find in Kingsbridge. Um, and they even were asking where the estuary was, which was right behind them. So I've put two little arrows um, at the bottom of this map. Um, you can see the tourist information centre is here um, in the town square. And the estuary starts right here behind them. Um, so they were like, yeah, people need some more help here. They're not getting what's going on. So we came up with some plans. And um, this is the town square here. The tourist information centre is in the far corner of that image. Um, of where we could put some wayfinding and signage. So the design inspiration. Uh, the map and sign design was developed through researching Kingsbridge's history and visiting their museum online. Obviously the pandemic. This um, all sort of kicked off in January this year. So we were still in UK lockdown between January and the um, end of March here. So um, this was all done online. Inspiration was taken from William Cookworthy, the namesake of their local museum, who was the first in the UK to create hard paste porcelain like that imported from China in the late 1700s. Uh, Edmund Duval, a noted English artist, potter and author, wrote a book on Cookworthy and his contemporaries like Josiah Wedgwood. And um, fact, we found lots of inspiration from this on how Cookworthy's porcelain was created in Kingsbridge and how the texture of it and tenderness of it impacted its design. The irregular shape of the icons are reminiscent of the unique pieces created and the addition of textures and the tenderness of the art all add to your experience of a place or object. Our colour palette with the cobalt blue and dog rose gold all came from inspirational quotes through this research. So here we have our first OpenStreetMap derived map. We have the building illustrations similar to the Toronto um, TO360 project, um, but we only have about four or five here. Um, we looked at trying to create some movement in the map as well and it not just be static so give it some personality so we have a, a moving boat um, using the cobalt blue for the key, key features and texture for the trees and urban development environment sorry um, and a tiered hierarchy was produced for the features in order of prominence so the most uh, the key things obviously had the building and the name and it went down to a uh, standard building an icon and then maybe just an icon on its own so this was the sign design we have the location the directional information off map pointers again a local map and a regional map um, a legend uh, interpretive information and the Kingsbridge logo and the subtle pattern at the bottom so um, as well as all the heads up mapping and the directions we have the subtle pattern at the bottom which is really reminiscent of the designs of the porcelain. It has an added benefit of actually hiding some of the dirt that will that accumulates on the bottom of these signs. Um, so that was a really nice little added functional design feature. Um, and the interpretive information and image as well. Delivering through COVID. So um, thank goodness our client team were nothing like the UK's um, viral Hanforth Parish Council um, that made the international news during the pandemic after their chaotic meeting went online. Um, but the whole team, councillors, steer and manufacturers Trueform met regularly via Zoom to talk through the design elements and content for the map and signs, something that ordinarily wouldn't have happened um, as only the project manager may have traveled um, down to Dorset or down to Devon um, and attended an in-person meeting, in meeting. It was great to meet all those on the town council and see their passion for the town they admire. 
And our design idea linking to the porcelain was a huge success. And we were able to get personal book recommendations from the client team and share their enthusiasm. We successfully shared drafts and annotated on screen during discussions to capture the comments. Construction. Our partners Trueform, whom installed the signs, have agreed safety measures in place to be able to carry out the safe construction for the public and their employees during the 2020-2021 lockdowns. And lastly, desktop research. Online desktop research was extensively used to confirm and check the mapping data, as well as the design development. Google Street View was used for checking most of the open source map data. However, the alleyways are not captured on Street View. So further research into the history of those and their use was conducted by the assistance of the local team. And the museum's virtual online tour was excellent in helping us to understand more about the town, its history and its inhabitants. So on to our final map. Um, so we created one to 1500 scale for the town map and 25,000 scale for the area map. Highlighted active retail zones shown in the dog rose gold. Leisure icons including the more unusual crabbing spots, paddle boarding, kayaking, Kingsbridge Gardens in Blooms competition, defibrillator air, um, access and of course the wonderful viewpoints across the estuary. It also includes the world's smallest disco in a phone box which they were really keen to get on the map. Um, so these are the final products. We have one monolith in Town Square and two of the narrower miniliths along 4th Street. Um, the rural area map includes scenic walks to encourage exploration and the interpretive information on Cookworthy Porcelain on the north, are all on the north facing side of each of the maps as you go up the street and um, on the south the historic images of location are on the south facing side of the panels to create a series in each direction as you go. And the porcelain series is in the direction of the Cookworthy Museum at the north end of the 4th Street. So hoping to make it into a bit of a trail. So that's it. Um, I've got one minute, yes, Q&A. Um, so this is a picture of one of, our, of the town councillors, Philip. Um, who was really fantastic, uh, really enthusiastic with all the porcelain information and gave us the book recommendations as well. Um, and that's them um, a week yesterday getting it finally in the ground. So happy to take any questions. Really cool. Thank you, Claire. Um, I, I love the map, the style of the map, the bright colors, uh, the blue, green, and the, the, um, the beige color in the background. No, I, it's super cool. Thank you so much for presenting that. Yeah, let's see if uh, one or two questions pop up. And uh, we can move on to the third talk, if not.